Are you hungry? Because if so, you're in the right place. Today, we're making grilled mackerel with a miso and anduja sauce. It's a bit of an itameshi dish. Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Girl Guts. Today, we're making something from Cucina Itameshi again. It's not exactly from Cucina Itameshi because they make it like in Nobu with black card, but Black cod is difficult to get as a private individual here in Switzerland, so we're making it with mackerel. It goes just as well. It's just a bit of a, or a very different fish, but it goes well together still. But before we have a look at the board, as always, if you're not a subscriber to the channel yet, which I knew a lot of you aren't, so do me the favor, hit that subscribe button and check the bell icon so that you get a notification every Tuesday when a new episode is online. But now let's have a look. As you can see, there's not many ingredients on the board. We have our mackerel. We have andouille. This is 15 grams of andouille. And we have 60 grams of white miso. And we have some pickled ginger. You can buy that in any Asian store. It's pre-bought, pre-pickled. We're not doing it ourselves. Um, but the first thing we'll have a look at, as you can see, the fish is already prepped. I'll show you how I did that. So we'll start with the mackerel. The fishmonger has already taken out the guts. Follow the spine. Try to feel it with your knife. And then we just go down along the spine. like so. Now you can feel there's still some bones in there. We can take them by going down with the knife like that. Just let your fingers be your guide. Now we only have the, the spine bones and those we have to take with the um, tweezer. And here again, just feel them with your fingers. Go in, grab them, and then pull and you see them like that. Those are the ones you want to get out. And that's everything we need to do with the mackerel to fillet it, to prep it. Two beautiful fillets. Now we're just going to salt them a bit to kind of quick cure them. I put some kitchen paper underneath to just soak up the water that will come out of them. Like that. Now I'll leave them for half an hour, then brush off the salt. Don't rinse them in water because that kind of defeats the purpose, but just brush off the salt. And that's all the prep for the fish. As you can see, very easy. Now let's go to the sauce. Just two ingredients, andouille and white miso. We might need a bit of water to thin it out, or you can do it with dashi, but I didn't have any dashi at home today, so we'll just do it with water. It goes just as well. Dashi is a little bit better. But we'll move over to the stove and make the sauce there. In goes our miso. And 
and our Anduja. Anduja is an um, Italian sausage, Calabrian, I think, and it's uh, it's spiced with paprika, so it's, it has a bit of a heat to it. Now we're just going to mix this up and warm it up at the same time. Medium high heat. As you can see, it's relatively thick. We're going to add a little bit of water to it. And then doya has a lot of fat in it, so it, it melts, the fat melts and makes it all nice and rich. I'm just going to add a bit of water from the tap, maybe a tablespoon. As I said, if you have dashi at home, use dashi instead of water. Added another tablespoon of water. Now I would say it has the right consistency for us. Normally this sauce doesn't need anything, no salt, nothing, but we'll give it a try. Yeah. It has everything from the andouille already. And that's it, that's our sauce. Here we have a sauce ready. Now what's left is to grill our macro. I'm going to get the grill in and then we'll get that going as well. For that you're going to need a bit of oil and a brush. That's our oil. Let's put a little bit on the kind of flame up. And we also put a bit on the skin of the fish. And we also put a bit of salt on there. And the fish is on. I think we can already turn them. Beautiful. Another minute. I'm going to put them under the kitchen fan so that the smoke, I don't smoke my family out. And then when these are ready, we're ready to plate. It's a really quick dish today. So see you when these are ready and we can plate up. So we take our sauce. Now there's different types of nduya. This one has kind of larger pieces of pepper in it, which I kind of like. But if you don't, either get the other kind of nduya, which is much softer, or you can pass this through a sieve. There we are. And now for our mackerel. We'll put it skin side up because I like the way the skin looks. There we go. And now all that's left is to top with a little bit of pickled ginger. You don't need much. That will do it. And that's our grilled mackerel with miso and duya sauce. Now let's dig in. This is so nice. Get a bit of ginger in there as well. It has the sweetness, obviously, of the miso. Nice, sharp, smoky saltiness of the andouille. And you got a bit of that um, kind of acidity from the pickled ginger. And I think mackerel is such an underrated fish. It's nice, fatty, has a nice flavor to it, not fishy. Mm. This is a perfect combination. Now you can serve this up with some fried rice or just plain steamed rice. You 
could even, that would be pretty cool, make this into a hand roll like with Obviously, smaller pieces of the mackerel. You make sushi rice. You have your nori. Put some of the rice on, the mackerel on top of that, and then the sauce and some ginger, and you eat it like that. I never tried that, but I'm sure that would be a winner as well. And it is kind of perfect itameshi as well with the nduya in there. Mm. But that's about it for today. It was a very short episode, but if you stuck with me until now, there must have been something you enjoyed about it. So hit that thumbs up button. It's just down there, it takes you a second, but it's so valuable to me to get my content out there in the YouTube universe. So please do me that favor. But except for that, yeah, if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. I always answer them. And if you're not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe and check the bell icon so that you get notifications. But that's it for today's short episode. Take care. Bye-bye.